Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to Daz Reacts. And I'm actually, I'm, I'm holding my hands exactly the same way he is. I, I started the video, I was like, right, that's it, let's get going. What's going on? Welcome back to Daz Reacts. And today I have a Jimmy Carr reaction video for you. And in this one, he talks about global warming. And when, when I first started doing this channel, I started off with doing like quite a bit of Jimmy Carr and the likes of Anthony Jeselnik and things like that. And for some reason, I've kind of gone away from it. And I don't know why, because I love dark comedy. I love like below the belt comedy. And Jimmy Carr for me is one of my favorites. So this is one that I, this is on like just for laughs. So I know that I haven't seen this, so I really am looking forward to it. So let's get into this. If there is any other Jimmy Carr videos that you want me to react to, let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, I'm, I'm just eager to get into this one. And I know he's just going to tear it apart on this stage. Good evening. Hello, I'm Jimmy Carr. Just before we get started, who's seen me before? <clears throat> who's never seen me before? Good luck. Well, you sound happier. <laughs> when I'm away from home, I sometimes get lovesick. Well, they call it chlamydia. <laughs> Global warming. The kids I feel sorry for. Because if sea levels do rise, they'll drown first. <laughs> People claim to be into recycling, but you should see their faces when you rinse out a condom. <laughs> do you know what? <laughs> Honestly, did, I, I'm presuming that because this is just for laughs that he's in America. And he is one of these comedians that if you've seen him before you know what to expect but you just know if there's people that haven't seen him before as soon as he starts with his jokes they're like is it too early to leave <laughs> like, we just need to get the hell out but i i do i love i love his jokes they are so good their faces when you rinse out a condom <laughs> i had a super awkward moment on stage recently a really awkward time on stage doing a show I was, I was on stage, I said, any questions? And someone at the back of the room said, are you ever gonna have children? I said, I don't wanna make you feel bad about asking. It's a perfectly reasonable question, but my girlfriend and I actually can't have children the way we do it. <laughs> <laughs> People worry about their physical appearance. We all have silly hang-ups. Personally, I worry that one of my balls is bigger than the other two. <laughs> I had a relationship with a blind girl, which was rewarding, but challenging. It took me ages to get her husband's voice right. <laughs> An adorable... <laughs> this man is all kinds of he is all kinds of messed up in the head seriously <laughs> I have no idea how he comes up with these jokes our husband's voice right <laughs> an adorable gentleman down here just went dirty <laughs> <laughs> what's your name sir your, your name's Dinesh right and was there an A-nesh, and a B-nesh, and a C-nesh? <laughs> and you are the product of experimentation. <laughs> well, what do you do, D-nesh? <laughs> Nothing, man. I just chill. <laughs> right. We have a special word for that where I'm from. We say unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, one thing is that a lot. If if I was at a Jimmy Carr gig, I would not want to be at the front because <laughs> he had a tendency to go to the front row and he just he roasts people. But another thing is, I see the just for laugh song at the back, and it was Montreal, so I know that this is I know that this was in Canada. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have a job. I'm just chilling. Yeah, I'm maxing, relaxing. It ain't too taxing. Yeah. <laughs> You live in your mother's basement and masturbate, is what you do. <laughs> <clears throat> I used to, you'll, you'll find this hard to believe, my friend. You will, you will find this hard to believe. I used to be a gentleman. I didn't used to talk about sex, even with close friends. But now, because I'm a comedian, you have to share a bit more. You open up. Here's an intimate detail 
I don't mind sharing with you this evening, ladies and gentlemen. My girlfriend can't have orgasms during intercourse, but it's not a problem because I can. <laughs> My girlfriend used to smoke after sex, so we started using lubricant. <laughs> you, you just know that there's some people in the crowd that they're sitting there like, oh, I don't get it. <laughs> I was in bed with a woman recently. She said, I want tonight to be magical. And it was. After we made love, I disappeared. <laughs> A lot of planning is going on for the 2012 Olympics in London. Sadly, most of the planning is being done by Al-Qaeda. <laughs> I just don't understand it. Why would you become an Islamic fundamentalist, suicide bomber, on the off chance you might get 72 virgins when you die? Become a Catholic priest and have them now. <laughs> Come on, life's for living. <laughs> Do you know what I love? And it, it happened like last year that they, oh, it might have been earlier this year. They tried to get Jimmy Carr cancelled. He'd done a joke about uh, the Holocaust and things like that. And they tried to get him cancelled. You, you could never cancel this man. That if you go back to all of the things he said from when he first started his stand-up, take your pick. Take your pick of what you could <laughs> take out to get him cancelled. But it's never going to happen. It will never, ever happen. And I'm glad because I seriously could sit and watch him all day long. <laughs> It is just so funny. Osama bin Laden, jihad it coming. <laughs> My favourite suicide bomber of the last year was a guy in the United Arab Emirates. He, uh, he, he was an assassin suicide bomber, sent to kill one man. He didn't, he just killed himself. I already like this guy. <laughs> The reason he was of note, the reason it caught my eye in the paper, this is a real thing that happened in the world that we live in. This guy, in order to get close to the man he was trying to kill, he had the bomb hidden up his bum. <laughs> Literally a suicide bummer. <laughs> my point is this, if people are going to start putting bombs up their bums, the shit is really going to hit the fan. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know how that bomb was detonated. But I like to think in this day and age, even someone as idiotic as a suicide bomber would have seen the opportunity for comedy in that situation. And that bomb, up his bomb, would have been detonated something along the lines of, pull my finger. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear it from the ladies. Give us a shout, ladies of Montreal. Give us a shout. Oh. What a glorious noise. Do you think you're easy to live with, ladies? Well, this is going to be educational and informative. Because <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now how easy you are to live with, ladies. I'm not going to just tell you. I'll do it with a couple of questions. I'll tell you how easy you are to live with. Ladies, just answer these questions honestly. Have you ever met a gay man? <laughs> Have you ever noticed how happy homosexual men are? <laughs> <laughs> What's missing from their lives? <laughs> you. <laughs> I said to my girlfriend, I said, uh, I said, do you want to experiment with a role play rape fantasy? She said, no. I said, that's the spirit. <laughs> well, on that cerebral and edifying note, I've been Jimmy Carr. Thank you very much indeed for listening to me. I'll see you again. Thank you very much. I do. I love this man so much. <laughs> I really do. You cannot be a jimmy car stand up and what I, what I like about him is he's so quick fire he doesn't tell a story that lasts a minute or two minutes he's so quick fire with his jokes that and and they're all stored in his brain i really don't know but yeah he, he just does not let up with him at all and <clears throat> everything that he says is just below the belt that i don't think he's ever told a clean joke in his life <laughs> but yeah that I need to start watching a lot more Jimmy Carr. I really do. And even down to like some of the things that he's done for like 8 out of 10 cats. I thought, I thought he was a brilliant host on that. That he done 8 out of 10 cats does count down. 
and the eight out of ten cats as well. And even like I think he was on that my big fat quiz of the year. I think he presented that, so I need to go back and watch some of them. But yeah, this is <laughs> this is it's hurt my mouth that it seriously has hurt my mouth, and that's how I know that if some if something's good and if something makes me laugh a lot, and I stop watching it, and then my mouth's hurt, and then I know it's been a success. So <laughs> this video has been a success. If you have watched this all the way through and you're sitting there disgusted, I really am sorry. But now you know if I react to Jimmy Carr, don't click on it. <laughs> Guys, listen, thank you all for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I will be uploading daily. If there's any other Jimmy Carr you want me to react to or any other stand-up comedians, let me know in the comments down below and I will get around to doing it. But until the next time, take it easy. Have a nice day.